fish. We'll get all the fish. Wow, wow so, so many fish. fish. That's because we are in the sunlight zone of the ocean. The ocean is very deep. And the sunlight can't reach the very bottom. That's why there are different zones. They are called the sunlight zone, the twilight zone, and the midnight zone. The sunlight zone is the first layer, where most of the sea animals live. Wow, the ocean is so beautiful. Yeah, it sure is magnificent. Ah, danger! Ah, danger! That's not good. Answer your question. This is the twilight zone because the light is absorbed by the seawater. Woo! It's around here somewhere, Uncle Roger. What's around here? The energy crystal. Hmm. So that's what was causing the water currents and shaking. Brody, that's great. The crystal is near here. Wow. Hmm. The map shows that the crystal is in the midnight zone. Midnight zone. Sounds mysterious. But our ducky submarine broke down. How will we get there? No worries. The system is restarting. Give her some time. It's so dark outside. I'm falling asleep. Really? really? Going, Going to, to sleep? sleep? There it is. Brody! May, Brody and I will go collect the crystal. Here, take these. What about me, Uncle Roger? Sam, it's going to take some time before Ducky comes back online. You stay and guard her for me. All right, fine. Aha! Uh -huh. So that's where the crystal is. <laughs> Whoa! We, we finally, finally found, found it. it! Yay! Brody, we can save your planet now. Yup. Let's go grab it. Stay where you are, Brody. <laughs> you again? Me alone. The crystal is mine. Brody Bomb Bomb. Mine, why are you always after me? Brody, I followed you to Earth to stop you. Planet M belongs to my master. Say goodbye to the crystal. The crystal! crystal. No! It ain't the crystal! What? Because the ocean is very, very deep, the level of light absorption varies, resulting in the seawater to form three zones, the sunlight zone, the twilight zone, and the midnight zone. Within 200 meters below sea level is the sunlight zone, 
This is a place where it's warm, bright, and full of sunshine. Many sea animals, such as turtles, jellyfishes, dolphins, and sharks gather in this zone. The human body can handle the water pressure at this level. That's why most diving activities take place here. In the twilight zone, 200 to 1,000 meters below sea level, there's very little light. Although cold and dark, some animals such as squids, flagfishes, and tunas still exist. 1,000 meters below the sea level, there's no light but darkness. The midnight zone is very cold, close to almost zero degrees. Probably the only light you can find comes from luminous animals, such as the monkfish. Down here, the water flows slowly. The water pressure is so high, people can only reach here in a submarine. Very few animals live here, such as octopuses, starfishes, and sea urchins. Isn't the underwater world magnificent? Let's continue the adventure with Brody. Part 1. What we will be using today. Hi boys and girls. Today we will portray layers of the ocean with different shades of blue. Remember, we are here to have fun. No need to rush. You can always pause the video when you need a break. Enjoy your creative adventure. Let's see what we have today. We have watercolor paper, metallic sharpie, paintbrushes, cardboard background, stickers, gouache tubes, markers, flat mat, paint palette, and foam stickers. Don't forget to prepare a rag and a cup of water for wiping and washing the brushes. Part 2. Portray different shades of blue. Before we start, remember to use the splat mat to protect your work surface. Take out the Prussian blue and the titanium white. With the paint palette and paint brushes ready, now let's start mixing the color. For this project, we will be mixing different amounts of white and blue. Squeeze out Prussian blue in the paint palette. Blend the blue paint with the brush. Then we have dark blue. Squeeze one blue and one white on the palette. Mix the blue and white with a brush to make a slightly lighter blue. Squeeze one blue and two white dots onto the palette. Mix the colors in the same way. We get a light blue. Squeeze one blue and three white dots in the palette and mix the colors nicely with a brush. We have a very light blue. Remember, every time the brush is used, wash the brush in a water cup and wipe it clean with a rag before applying a second color. Take out the watercolor paper. You can see the watercolor paper is divided into three layers. The layer with a mark is the first layer, the sunlight zone. Choose a light blue paint for the first layer. The second layer is the twilight zone. You can paint this part with a darker blue. The last layer is the midnight zone. Select the dark blue for this layer. Now, we have created the three layers of the ocean. Part 3. Different creatures live in layers of the ocean. Leave the watercolor paper to dry for 5 to 10 minutes. 
During this time, we can take some time to choose the sea creatures stickers or draw on them with markers. Remove the cardboard background from the diorama. Be careful not to cover the socket. Fold the watercolor paper in half along the dotted line and tear it off. Tear off the back paper and stick the sunlight zone on the first layer of the background. Be careful not to cover the socket. Use the same way to attach the twilight zone and the midnight zone onto the cardboard background. Use a metallic sharpie to draw backgrounds on different ocean layers. Draw rocks and plants in the sunlight zone. Draw underseen volcanoes and creatures in the deep sea. Use what we've learned before to choose different sea creature stickers and put them in different layers of the ocean. Sea turtles, seaweed, Tropical fish and many other fishes live in the sunlight zone. Squid, flagfish, and other fishes live in the twilight zone, with only a few animals living in the midnight zone, such as monkfish, octopus, and starfish. Color the white sea creatures stickers with markers of your choice. Part 4. Assemble the diorama. Assemble the cardboard according to the matching colors. Match dark blue with dark blue and light blue with light blue. Stick foam stickers into the yellow area of the game board and cardboard seabed A. C. We created our own layers of the ocean on the diorama. 